So a lot of people have their dream cars as Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Bugattis, but they're mine too. But there is one car that really tickles my pickle, if you want to say, and it's this thing over here. This is an F82 M4, and if you open up my Instagram and you go into the saved section, this and the F80 M3 are the two cars that you're only going to see over there because, well, I'm absolutely in love with this thing. So, by the grace of check engines, the graceful owner, and Venom Performance India, I'm going to be driving this thing and telling you my thoughts on probably what is my dream car. Ever since the F series of 3 series and 4 series has come out, BMW has named the M3 Coupe now the M4. And this is the F82 M4, which is basically the first ever M4. And well, it looks absolutely fabulous. I don't know any single person who hates the look of the F82 M4. It's such a pretty car. And yes, the G80 and G82 M3 M4 look kind of cool now with the uh, whole grill situation. But I mean, this just looks absolutely pretty. I can't get over the looks. So let's start from the front end. The grill, it's a very normal size grill and I love it. I just love the front end of this car. The aggressive headlights with the uh, very iconic angel style headlights that BMW offers and it has this little DRL strip on the top which makes it look super super angry and if you haven't noticed it's super low and the stance of this car is just different to any other sports car that I've ever seen. Uh, uh, the front end if you look at the hood it has this massive bulge in the middle and that's characteristic BMW uh, M things because only the M cars get that big hump to show that it is something special but the car overall is quite subtle if you look at it you won't really understand that it's an M4 or something special in that sense because the thing is well it's all on the small little details here and there if you look at the arches of the M4 they're very muscular but that's only if you notice them it's very subtle you have this side skirt over here on the side I'm not sure if that's uh, OEM or if it's added on but yeah it just looks super cool it still has the stock wheels and it's a staggered setup the rear wheels are actually larger than the front wheels and I'm not complaining I just love the design even of the stock wheels uh, come around to the back and that has to be the prettiest way to look at it the rear three-quarter angle of an M4 well it just looks different you have a quad pipe exhaust setup at the rear and I'm pretty sure uh, this car is tuned so it has some sort of a exhaust system going on uh, the roof of the M4 is actually made out of carbon fiber well that's because it's an M car uh, again you have some little bit of diffuser things going on you have these absolutely amazing looking tail lights and the owner has fitted this gigantic carbon fiber wing at the back and that is okay because this is a rear wheel drive car and yes it would require downforce at the rear so let's open up the engine bay and talk a little bit about the S55. So this over here is the BMW S55 engine. Three liters, straight six, twin turbo, stock it makes 425 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque and well this thing is a monster even to this day. Now 425 horsepower might not seem like a lot but this is pure-blooded German horsepower and this thing can put a lot of bigger cars to shame just with its stock form and once you start going down the modding route well it's a completely different ball game people have pushed out some ridiculous horsepower numbers from this engine the only limiting factor for the f82 is that it's only rear wheel drive and it's a very playful chassis so every time you go anywhere near full throttle this thing is just gonna step out onto you but that's the fun of a BMW M car so this thing has a bunch of mods to it uh, we'll talk about those mods uh, mods in just a minute and we will just talk about you know this engine first of all you have this carbon fiber strut brace over here which is so iconic of this generation when the s55 had come out it had gotten a lot of criticism against it because all previous m3 coupes or m3s in general had naturally aspirated engines but this was the first turbocharged bmw m3 coupe or m4 so not a lot of people were very excited about it because people thought well it's just going to be a muffled and a very like controlled driving experience but 
this thing was the exact opposite this is a wild machine i mean it is very difficult to tame but once you get a grip of it this is one of the most precise tools that you can ever drive coming to the mods this particular car has an upgraded exhaust system from an m4 gts upgraded charge cooler and a stage one remap now the car roughly makes a whopping 550 bhp and sounds absolutely nuts have a listen <laughs> Again, apologies that this video is all over the place. We're using an iPhone, R5, Canon, uh, M50. I mean, we're just using a lot of different things, but I can't think of anything else. I am actually driving an F82 M4. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my God, it feels so dialed in. It feels, it, oh my God, this is just, this is definitely one of those moments that I won't forget for a very long time. And I want to give it a little bit of a booting, but I don't want to risk anything because first, it's not my car, it's rear wheel drive. It has over 500 horsepower, so I don't want to destroy the tires, but we'll just give it a little bit of gas after the rumble strips. And trust me, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. This S55 engine is capable of making a thousand horsepower. Currently, it's only running stage two. And to be very honest, during the time of this filming, I'm not really sure of the horsepower numbers, but I am willing to place my bets that it's around 550 to 600 horsepower. And I'm not even pressing the throttle pedal that hard. I mean, I'm just basically doing to 40% of acceleration. I can't imagine what this thing will feel like once you're at the limit because this is the difference between Mercedes, Jag, Audi and all of the other luxury brands. BMW makes a race car into a luxury car whereas all of those other brands that I just mentioned make a luxury car into somewhat of a performance car and you can definitely feel it especially in the M4. I mean you go anywhere near the end of the throttle and instantly the traction control light starts blinking. That's how ridiculous this thing is. So let's actually get onto the car and what all it has on offer. So I mean, this is basically meant to be one of the best ways to do a track day basically from BMW. It's a small, well, not small anymore, but uh, the M3 was always a compact coupe, which, you know, was really good at track days handling and that was its forte. And I'm pretty sure the M4 is no different. I mean, it's supposed to be an epic thing to drive on the track or on the canyons basically and yeah i'm pretty sure it will be so you have a bunch of different settings going on over here you have three different uh, configurations for your suspension your steering uh, your engine and yeah you turn off traction control which i'm definitely not going to be doing you turn it off and i am 100 percent sure that this thing will spin its wheels up all the way till fourth gear i mean no questions asked uh, in terms of its interior yes it is a little dated because it was a, it is a 2016 car but i mean i'm totally fine with it it has a big old screen over here it has some nice looking analog uh, instruments in the front and yeah it's totally fine i love the seats they hug you into place the steering wheel is finished in this beautiful alcantara now this is not the stock steering it has the shift lights and everything but in general the steering i love it the perfect nine and three position driving position is 
I mean just perfect and this will just give it a little bit of acceleration over here <laughs> that was somewhere near full throttle and i could just feel the car cutting so much power I'm not even in the most aggressive engine setting. I am literally inefficient. I think we should turn it up just a little bit. Oh my god, it's completely changed. The throttle response is super sharp. The exhaust has become louder. It's starting to pop and crack. And the brakes. Oh my god. And yeah, this thing is nuts. We cannot thank the owner enough for letting us experience this beautiful F82 M4. And of course, we have to thank Check Engines Hyderabad and Venom Performance India for aligning this shoot for us. Definitely a dream come true for me. And thank you once again. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and follow us on Instagram for some epic content. I will see you soon.